So now I'm going to be my wall. So then after the wall of the lobby, there is wall of um, WC toilet, which is 1.7. This one point seven. What did you? This is the wall. Now this wall, particular wall, join the wall of the passage at this part here. Then the remaining part, I'm going to erase it off. So now let's draw the work for our BVC. BVC and lobby now. So we are going to erase this part also. Now, okay, we've gotten lobby. Now, also at the lobby. You should know that it's an open space having a top wall on a column so what we are going to do now we will erase the inner wall to denote that it's an open wall so and when we are showing an open wall we show it with a dash line So now, at this corner, we are going to put a column, which is going to be a block. Then also, at the center of the 56, the center of 56 is 28. 2.8. So 0 0.1. So we have completed the wall of our lobby side onto the bedroom and the toilet. So the, the the dimension for the vertical height of this bedroom is 36 i mean that's 3.6 the horizontal length is going to be 36 also we're going to use 36 we're going to use 36 here's our 36 build our wall this is our wall so we'll, we'll let it reach this kitchen side so I haven't done that. So let's put a label bedroom. Then now let's cut out the the, the, the it's written that two thousand is the dimension for the toilet above the bedroom. So we measure from here this part two thousand. So now this is our two thousand. That's I'm going to put my little bit toilet. So now I will erase this part because so after that uh, I'm done with all the sections of the rooms. Now what is left is to put my uh, beam. Remember this toilet from this toilet to this toilet is open space. Now the beam is in between my dining wall to the living room wall. So now here is being erased. So now, so here is go. It's a beam. So it's going to be the two wall is going to be in dash line.
then you know so there's also the den room wall as an empty space to the wall of the bedroom here so and we're going to use 1.5 for it so we're going to measure 1.5 from this outer wall here, downward so be the wall there So we erase this part here. So what next now is to put our windows. So we're going to be erasing some part to put window. So now we we'll also go to the specification of the window. Now from the specification of the window as shown on the screen, now you see that our window is having two we have two type of window we have the win double window and the single window window one so for the rooms we will be having the double window while for the toilet we're going to be having the single windows now let's start with the kitchen the windows will be at the center of each tree okay this is 1.5 so and the dimension for the window is that's 1.2 for the width 1.2 and so zero point six to the right, zero point six to the left. So now there will be to denote a window. The window is noted by two double line inside the wall. So that is, it's not going to carry the dimension of the wall. Let me erase the photo line inside the wall hmm. put the dividing is a line to denote that it's two window so i've done my kitchen window at the same time we can also be fixing our door so I will not go back to where we've worked on. So a fixed window here. Then from the from from the plan, there is a door from porch to the kitchen. So and you know most doors open inside inside of the room. So and this is where we are asked to put the door. Now we have to tap the door too from the specification. We have the small door and the big door. That's door one and double door. So here we have door one, which dimension is 0 0.9. Now leave a small part. Is it? So now you now go draw on that line upward zero point nine. So now we we'll draw the line to touch this part here. Now, our doors opens in our ward to the rooms, and our door opens to the left. Let's fix the store window and um, door. So now, the store window is zero point six. So we check the center. Center of two point four is. 1.2 here so and so we measure 0 0.3 to the right 0 0.3 to the left here 
because the dimension is six. The dimension of the window is six. A single window so we erase the wall there then we put our window that is tiny to the wall if there's any wall, uh, wall that is mistakenly erased so we can retrace it back so here also the stone is erased the door also we fix that it's a small door which is 750 from the dimension Put this white thinking now and race here. The window. This is the measure zero point six to the right, zero point six to the left. So we have to do this very well. We might be like it over of the line that two. And erase very well, okay. So after that, I'm going to draw two lines more tiny than the wall, okay. Okay, then I'm going to put a, a line to denote that it's two window. Then the door now, so the door is 0 0.9, I'm going to use small wall. And measure myself for nine. And zero point nine because it's a, 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 a bigger door. Zero. And I'm going to have put glass from the door to the dining. So I'm going to do for this bedroom the two windows, one at the horizontal line and the other vertical line. So I put it go to the center, one point eight and the horizontal line, then zero point six to the right to the left. Six to the right to the left. Door is at this part here, which is 0 0.9. Am I too? Okay. I have the, the door, see that open to the shortest wall. 
I mean, or the shortest open space or the or it opens to the left side. Now this door here now is open to the right because the right side has the sh uh, shorter space. The small door of seven uh of seven fifty yes seven. Now, there's a window here. Now, the window is self and six. Now, now at this passage also there's a door and there's also a window Sometimes there may not be need to erase the double wall. Just put your line inside. With the door that is here. But this wall very well. The door is a small door, 750. Good. 